Hi, my name is Jane Mendel. I'm the Managing Director of the Sectra here in the UK. And we're here today at the Sectra AI Clinical Showcase to discuss some of the new features that we might expect from AI in healthcare in the future. I think one of the key things that's being described here today is that the NHS is facing a real finite resource pressure and so finding ways to help make the most of that resource is absolutely crucial. So AI can do things to help identify patients who might be at risk of things early and allow early interventions to prevent things from happening further down the line. Our workload is increasing by approximately 6 and 15 percent per year and that's happened every single year for the last 20 years so it's not going away and technology especially AI is the only way it's going to be solved. If we look at a, a chest CT and we know that an AI uh, a narrow AI tool has been able to compare it to previous imaging and tell us how certain nodules or other findings have increased or decreased or changed, then that's going to certainly speed up our processing time. I think there are going to be even more benefits such as learning from discrepancies, things that we wouldn't normally pick up, uh, incidental findings, and automating mundane tasks is going to be a great benefit. We're going to have you know, technologies from pathology to radiology to A&E workflows. How can we use this technology to improve things? That, that is a big question and that is going to need champions or people to harness everything that's going on outside and try and bring it into their specific population, their specific demographics. There's definitely a need for strategy and culture change. I think IT still scares a lot of people. One of the things we were talking about earlier is that AI doesn't really introduce risks that aren't already there with human interpretation and error rates with human margin of errors. We shouldn't tackle every, every modality, everything. We should a few quick wins where it really delivers value, but value for clinicians, patients, and also the bean counters out there, the accountants. So there's a business case, there's clinical benefits, Everybody's happy, ticks in all boxes, and then build from there. I see AI being potentially helpful in, in many different ways, both to increase the radiology and pathology efficiency. Maybe AI can see more than a human can in some respect. Different things, things that are not visible to the naked eye. The big innovation is going to come from a number of specialist companies rather than from a few large dominant players. and. In order to support this, this wide ecosystem of innovation, vendor neutrality is a must. An open platform allows the, uh, the clinical side to benefit from innovation at a faster pace and not be stuck at custom integrations. The event today has been amazing. It's a good mix of clinical and technology and, and leadership that really shows that there is potential and a willing across the board to move forward and find solutions and get them working.